All right, what's going on guys? Markel here, back with another video. And this time I have for you guys the unboxing, of the Apple AirPod Pros. Uh, I just picked these up recently and uh, trying to go all type C. So the only things that I have left that are type C are my iPhone 14 Pro Max, my Magic Mouse and the AirPods Max. Uh, surprised that hadn't been updated yet, but type C, uh, Apple AirPods Pro second generation. So let's do this quick unboxing. First thing we're greeted with here is paperwork that says designed by Apple in California. I'm sure there's some stickers in here, but don't really care because I'm not going to read any of that. Now we got the AirPods. Let's see what else we get in the box here. We are greeted with nice braided cable, type C to type C. Nice to have an extra one. And of course, we get the tips for the fit uh, to fit your ear, large, small, and medium. So we get that as well. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's put all that back along with the design by Apple. Let's get this box on it. All right, so here we are, AirPod Pros. Go ahead and get this out of here try to keep this wrapping because you never know as neat as possible all right so here we go second generation so what's different about this the h2 chip is supposedly uh the only one the lightning version that looks just like this though but this is supposedly the only one that works currently with the apple vision pros so there's that and then you have the u1 chip that allows you to charge with your Apple Watch charger, like I have my Ultra or uh, any MagSafe charger, the U1 chip allows you to charge this. So you're supposed to be able to get to six hours of listening time, 5.5 uh, hours. I forgot what it was for 5.5, but I know talk time, you're supposed to get about four and a half hours of talking straight. I know that they have, you put this on a charger for about an hour, excuse me, for about five minutes, you're supposed to get an hour worth of listening or talk time with these, okay? But these look the exact same. There's really no difference in this, uh, except for those updates that it had with the U1 chip, the H2 chip, using it with the Vision Pros, the headset, and uh, this is IP54 water and dust resistant. Now, it's not like your phone, IP68, don't take this and just dump it in a pool. <laughs> this is more for people working out in the rain, working out, okay? Shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, it does have these speakers at the bottom here where now it'll make sound where you can actually find them. So that's pretty cool as well. Uh, these were on sale on the base website. Instead of paying $249, which is what they're listed for on Apple's website, I picked these up for uh, what did I get these for? $199. They dropped $49 off the price, so I got them for $199. The same time, same time I got the iPad Pro and the um, MacBook Pro. So, but yeah, going USB-C, man, getting, getting it out of the way. Just the iPhone, the Magic Mouse, and the AirPod Max. Uh, if they ever refresh the AirPod Max, I will give my old ones like I did the first generation to my girl and... You know, I'll get the newest ones that come out because in my bag, when I'm using it, I just want to go all USB-C. That way I'm not worried about bringing a ton of chargers. But this thing works pretty easily. Just bring your phone next to it. It'll find it. And that's one of the great things about Apple. I know Apple gets a lot of hate from people uh, when it comes to their devices. And there it is right there. Uh, headphones 100%. Case is at 91%. Apple gets a lot of hate, man, from some people, but I just love how simple things are to just hook up. And then you can do the whole test your ear with spatial audio and all that. Oh, that's what it was. With spatial audio, it's 5.5 hours. That's what it was. And six hours of just listening to music, four and a half hours of talk time, okay? But that's it for now, guys. Uh, I'll come back later on and let you guys know if I notice any big change uh, from listening to this because you do get the 20-bit lossless audio 
with this new one versus the lightning one and the first generation okay so those were some of the changes but that's it guys for now hey i appreciate everybody watching as always i'm sure i'll be back with something else i've gotten from apple or unboxed it or i'll come back with another video about either the macbook pro or the ipad mini 6 and i'm really starting to like this ipad mini 6 man i'm out peace enjoy the rest of your day